in order to get the ball to the star, this is a pin right here, we need to be able to rotate this up. And I wanted to use assessments for good purposes in support of learning. Um, and I had the idea that um, you could actually use really engaging kinds of vehicles like games to pull out a ton of information. So whenever you play any really good game, there's just so much stuff that goes on, you know, during the process of solving, you know, the various levels and stuff. So um, I thought, well, wouldn't it be lovely to be able to pull out information about problem solving skills and systems thinking and, um, you know, persistence and creativity and make inferences, you know, from gameplay back to those particular competencies. So what stealth assessment does, that's what I've been working on, is the idea where you pull out directly from the gameplay itself and make inferences back. So the inferences um, are all based on setting up these really rich models of whatever it is that you're interested about. You're simply playing the game or whatever it is you're doing. Meanwhile, under the hood, invisible, is um, the machinery that we're using and then parsing it, making sense of chunks of log file information and going, oh, the person did X and Y just now. That is an indication of creativity right here. So let me give a little increment to creativity. A lot of the kinds of constructs or the variables that we're looking at are things that have been linked in the literature to academic success as well as to lifelong you know, learning success. So this is the first build. So Gates is um, giving us money to you know, actually build out three stealth assessments in the one game and we'll be able to test the validity and reliability of these stealth assessments compared to some traditional measures of creativity, persistence, and physics understanding. Um, we'll also be able to look at learning that ensues in terms of physics understanding as a function of playing the game. You know, are the kids, and we'll pre-test and post-test um, them on um, the FCI, the force concept inventory. It's a widely validated measure of conceptual physics understanding. So we'll see after four hours of playing the game, not all at one time, if in fact they're conceptual physics understanding is improving. Um, and we're also doing one other thing that I'm really excited about, um, which is we're taking some of the models that we developed for crayon physics, in particular the persistence one, and we're going to plug and play it into a completely different game. I get paid to, to um, you know, engage in research with games, and I've been a, a gamer for many decades. Um, and, you know, look at assessment of important things uh, just makes me wag my tail every morning.